Yo, what is up guys, Extreme Designs here, and today I'm going to show you how to make, or even like, duplicate objects around a shape or a circle, etc. Like, how you make logos like this, and on Illustrator, and um, it's, we're going to be using like the rotation tool, and um, the previews, and yeah, that's really, um, so yeah, just going to show you how to do that, and um, we'll go ahead with it so it's going to be at 1920 by 1080 um pixels yeah and um yeah we're just going to go ahead okay so we've got the um document open already so we, what you want to do make a new layer and um make a circle so you you want to hold shift while you're like um sizing the circle because if you don't you have like a really dodgy circle that's like you can make stuff with that but um yeah we did we not we don't you don't wanna do that. So you wanna hold shift and it has to be in the center like that. Okay, so it, um the fill we're gonna make it black. You can choose whatever colour you want. Gonna be in the middle. Um, okay, now we're just gonna start duplicating the triangles around it. So, you want to click another layer and um, um, just make your triangle with your pen tool, really. Um, so, it has to be in the middle, right? That okay, so you can resize your triangle and uh, like, like so, and just put it in the middle somewhere. No, that's too big. Yeah, that's that's all right. Um, and then what you want to do? Get group selection tool and select both of your layers. And then what you want to do is click R. Um, that brings up the rotation tool here. And um, what you want to do is click Option, and um, you can start rotating your objects. So my angle is set at five, but you can like mess around with it like um yeah so like so and you want to click copy and um it's pretty simple you just click command d and it will just duplicate all these around like so uh, let's take a look at that yeah it looks pretty clean to me um yeah pretty clean um, that's pretty much how you do it and yeah those those squares like triangles are more in and that is pretty nice I really like that what I've done and it's like yeah so um, I want to have another go at this like I want to I have another go I'm making it more clean okay I just want to delete that um, yeah, just wanted to make it more clean, to be honest. Oops. Okay, now, um, let's quickly do this again, because, yeah, let's just do this. So, right in the middle. Okay, in the middle like that. A bit larger. Okay, now, wait, that is pretty alright. Squeeze them. Yeah, that's, that's got a more sharper edge to it, if you know what I mean. And then, what you want to do, select both with your group selection. And you want to click R, and then click in the center option. And I want to change this back to my 5 five degrees that's like my preset and there you go look at that that is nice yes just duplicated one over yeah that's that, that's pretty much how you actually make a logo like this and um select all and there you go uh, i think this is already positioned in the middle um yeah that's pretty much how you do it so i'm gonna show you how to 
duplicate like circles around it now and yeah it's pretty simple well, as you can see but just for like an example so you want to draw your circle out right in the middle uh, center it might have to be slightly bigger um, yeah that looks pretty nice oh by the way you don't want too much I've got this thing this thing about paths like you don't want too much of it and um, that's really how you do it but um, now you just want to do what um, I told you to really and um, click R and then click the option tool and by the way this will um, duplicate in this circle here like this one the one I'm pointing to <laughs> and um, yeah for this you just want a large size so this is gonna be about 15 I suppose yeah that's pretty nice and then click copy and then click command D and that is nice yeah so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial extreme designs here yeah, and this was pretty simple so if you got any questions um put um a comment yeah that's right a comment down below and i hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial and um yeah i'll be back with another tutorial see ya